The future of our local independent breweries is in our hands. How can we educate ourselves to make sure that we are supporting local and keeping local alive? Welcome back to Beers Illustrated, the beer blog that looks at what's going on on the outside of the craft beer can. I've got a pretty important thing I want to talk to you guys about today, uh, as you heard in the intro. But first off, I've got beer mail. The guys at Modus Operandi contacted me and asked me if I'd like to have a look at their new Hazy. Uh, the packaging looked pretty sweet from what I saw in the images, but they uh, insisted that um, they wanted to send me some so I could have a bit of a closer look at it. But this is, um, this is not hazy. This is something else. Their espresso martini dark lager that was brewed for good beer week. Nice. Something else. Fizz Wizard Sour IPA, limited release, very nice indeed. And here I'm thinking is going to be the hazy. Looks like it. See the gold of that can. Very nice. To Craig, enjoy the beers. Cheers, Johnny and Team Modus. Thank you very much, guys. Let's have a look at this. Oh, yeah. That is really nice. Get rid of all this packaging. Out of here. Out of here. Look at that. Wow, this is beautiful. Um, it's... Uh, it, it's very different to their um, sort of current core range branding and, and everything else they've been doing. This is um, series one of a, of a Hazy Pale series that they're gonna be doing. It's 5% ABV, but have a look at that. Now you can't, re I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but that logo there and the word Hazy are done in, in a, um, a spot UV and it's it's kind of raised up. It really has this high-end luxe feel to it. That yellow color, you know, it tells me exactly what's gonna pour into the glass when I open this up. And uh, speaking of which, let's just do that. And, uh, I'm, I'm loving a lot of breweries at the moment. Uh, I'm seeing a little bit more and more starting to do these um, branded ring pulls. So Modus, have got theirs there with the the MO logo, the black ring pull. It's it it's cool. It's an extra little touch. It makes me know that they care about the packaging. They care about what is going into my hands. They care about what I'm looking at and what I'm looking for when I'm at the bottle shop. So um ah uh, yeah, instantly get the aroma of that. It is massive. It's very hazy. Bam, see look, look at the color. Look, when you pour the beer out of the can and it matches the can, I love that. It's awesome. Um, that is huge. Galaxy Mosaic and Citra Hops and um, you can definitely smell the Galaxy. It's really, A little it's got a bit of bitterness to it which I wasn't expecting um, just generally with hazy beers you, you're not expecting that sort of um, sharp bitterness but it's good I like it it gives a real balance to it, it it's not soft and and sort of fluffy as a lot of um, New England IPAs are it's just it's got a nice sort of bite to it but anyway I'm not here to talk about 
this particular beer today. What I'm here to talk about is independent breweries and with the current landscape and everything that's going on in the world, it's now more important than ever to make sure that we support local. Their future is in our hands. We're the ones that are gonna make sure that they're still here when all of this is over. And, uh, and there's a couple of things we can do to make sure that we're supporting local. And, um, and one of them is to look at the packaging when you go into a bottle shop and, and try and work out from the packaging if that brewery is independent. And one really good way That is the Independent Brewers Association seal. Now, any can that features that means that the brewery is independently owned and you can be sure that your money is staying right here, going to a small independent company. Um, so to find out a little bit more about the independent seal, um, I spoke to Luke Robertson from the Independent Brewers Association and he told me a little bit more about what was going on. So check out our chat. Uh, we had to do it via Zoom uh, just with all of the current restrictions and, uh, and everything. And the fact that Luke's not even in this state. Um, but yeah, the technology is allowing us to do these things today so I thought I'd have a chat to him. So yeah, check it out. Uh, it's really interesting. All right, so thanks a lot for joining me today, Luke. Nice to meet you finally. Likewise, good to be here. Awesome. Mate, so what I want to do is just ask you a couple of questions uh, in regards to the Independent Brewers Seal and also the supporters as well. The, there's a supporter seal as well, so people can know where they need to go um, to buy the independent beer that they're looking for. So, mate, can you um, tell us about the Independent Brewers Association and, and sort of where it came from, where it sprang from? Yeah, sure. The uh, Independent Brewers Association... Uh, began in 2017 it grew out of the craft brewers industry association um which at the time had been around for a few years um but included a lot of the the multinational breweries and with the landscape changing so rapidly with brewery buyouts and uh, the, the larger breweries uh, getting on um sort of on board with the the craft beer movement um for lack of a better term, where it, uh, they were putting out, you know, beers that were branded to look like small business um, yeah. with, you know, kind of a, a, an imitation um, of, of what a lot of the small local breweries were, were doing and doing a lot better. Um, so by changing it to the Independent Brew Association, it was a tool to, um, I guess, give consumers and the industry a way to delineate between Breweries that were owned by multinationals with um, big big marketing budgets um, could command tap contracts that um, effectively shut out the competition by saying the the brewers as part of the IBA uh, aren't involved in that they're the Australian owned business um, where you know a lot of times family owned um, so it's a way I guess to say to people that yeah the the Larger breweries are, are doing their thing, but we've got this, um, you know, good group of brewers here that really need some support. Yeah. So um, in, in terms of identifying those beers, you guys came up with the Independent Brewers Seal, um, which, yep. which uh, members of the Independent Brewers Association can show on their packaging. Um, so, yeah, when, when did that come about? That was launched in May 2017, um, yep. which coincided with the... Uh, with the change in name as well. So ah, yeah, it was yeah. kind of an immediate, um, immediate changeover. And that's a way to, you know, people can put it on packaging. Um, and I guess it's had a slow rollout since then. Uh, you know, we needed to start getting brewers using it on packaging and, and brewers yeah. buy um, packaging in, in quite bulk volume. So, you yeah. know, slowly rolling it out, um, slowly building awareness of it and letting people know that, um, you know, if you see the independent seal, you know that you're supporting a, a, an independent brewery. Um, a, a way that people, you know, at point of sale can look at the back of a can or look at the back of a bottle and say, great, this, this brewer, um, you know, is, is a, a small business or locally owned. Um, and, you know, by buying that product, you're supporting, um, I guess, Australian jobs and, and Australian communities. Yeah, so I mean, it's a it's a tricky landscape because I mean, not all small independent breweries are um, members yet, or they're they're not showing it on their packaging. But who is allowed to show it? 
Um, so basically all of our members, uh, and we have 360, uh, let me just check my numbers on that, uh, 340 members currently, mm -hmm. sorry. Um, all of them can show it uh, by signing up. Um, there is, uh, it does cost um, some money to join annually. Yep. And that's scaled or weighted by the size of your brewery. Mm -hmm. um, and once you're signed up for a memory member, you can sign a, a an agreement that says you you can use the seal um, on your packaging, and yeah, from there um, start showing it. Yeah, awesome, mate. So, with the current landscape and the way things are going, um, so many of the small independent breweries are sort of you know coming up with new ways of of getting their product out there. But how important is the seal at the moment? I mean, you know, do we do we sort of have an idea on um, sort of what the future looks like for these small breweries? Uh, I mean, right now we we don't really. I um, mean, that's the worrying thing when you look at um, the numbers. Craft and independent brewers um, account for less than ten percent of sales volume in Australia, yep. but they employ over forty percent of uh, people employed in the industry. So, mm. when you look at that weighted volume um, by supporting breweries that aren't, um, you know, are small or independent or craft, you're supporting jobs. You're supporting communities, and as we're seeing, all these jobs. Um, just disappear pretty much overnight. Yeah. Uh, you know, looking around the industry, talking to friends, uh, you know, it's pretty much, I'm seeing, you know, people that I, uh, I know and, and have carved out a career for themselves, uh, have suddenly just lost their jobs. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, there's, there are breweries that have spent the last two or three years building up, you know, 30, 40 employees, 50 employees, and suddenly they're having to let them pretty much all go. Uh, yeah. And that's pretty terrifying when you look at the knock-on effects, um, you know, we're, we're potentially 40% of the, the workforce is, is pretty much disappeared overnight um, yeah. when you think of it like that. Uh, so, you know, by supporting these breweries, um, by supporting, you know, heading to their websites, heading to your local um, bottle shop, buying online, doing all those things you can, um, that that's, gives them more ways to get to market because they're relying on their tap room for sale, they're relying on bottle shops, um, yep. they're relying on bars, Restaurants was a huge one as well. So, you know, all these businesses that were geared to support uh, everyone getting great, diverse local beer uh, are suddenly not there at the moment. So, yeah, yeah and doing all and, you can. And a big thing about it is, I mean, with, with so many of the small breweries with their tap rooms, you know, their, their local and regular customers sort of become friends in a way. So you're not just supporting the industry, you're supporting your friends. Definitely. Um, and that's one of the cool things I love about going and visiting small breweries is when you walk in um, when you walk into a, you know a tap room uh, you'll quite often see the the owner the founder the brewer behind the bar totally um, they're yep. the they're the ones that are serving you the product they're the ones that are getting up in the morning um, you know six o'clock in the morning and turning on the, the hot liquor tank they're yeah. closing the, the, the door at the end of the day um, and then you know, the knock-on effect from that is they start employing uh, locals, the people that come in, you know. It's, Absolutely. It's yeah. one of the, the great stories in so many of these places is the the bar manager is the person that, you know, has thrown in their corporate career to because they love working there or they love visiting every Friday and they thought, you know, a change of scenery would be good. And, you know, all these sort of stories are, are really common in, in all these places. Yeah, so it's absolutely really important at the moment that we uh, support uh, the local breweries and, and the independents. But also you guys have got the, um, the supporter seal as well. So venues that sell independent beer and support independent breweries can, can show that. Is that, that right? Yeah, so we launched that. Um, it was always kind of planned to be launched. It just needed to be sort of rolled out. So we launched that last year in, in 2019. And that uh, gives businesses that, that support um, you know independent brewers a way to to let their clients or their, their customers know that hey uh, you can come in here and, and you'll be supporting this this amazing industry yeah awesome and um, so people can go to your website to find out who um, are members and and also who are the supporters that is yep. iba.org uh, iba.org.au .au awesome yeah well Luke, mate, it's been uh, enlightening speaking to you this morning. Thank you very much. 
No worries. Pleasure to be here. And uh, yeah, yeah thank, thank you for your support of um, independent breweries. Yeah, no problems, mate. It's more important now than ever. The, uh, the future of local breweries is in our hands and, and we all have to take action. Cheers. Yeah. All right, mate. Cheers. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. It's really, it's pretty easy. You look for the seal and making sure that you are a buying independent beer from independent breweries. And that makes sure that, you know, you're helping to keep local businesses alive. The other thing as well is independent bottle shops. Make sure you, um, if, where you can, um, go in and support local independent bottle shops because you know that that way there's even less money being dispersed elsewhere. Uh, so avoid the big names. Um, and, and just try and shop independent where you can. Uh, so Luke also sent me through um, some points on, on how you can make sure that you are doing the right thing, buying local, keeping local alive. So number one is shop direct. Arrange to pick up orders straight from your local brewery. Uh, I know that uh, Newstead have got a drive through now, so you can literally just drive up. You don't even have to get out of your car. You can ring ahead, they'll have your order ready. Bam. Uh, number two is buy online. Purchase from breweries with online deliveries or, or online retailers. So yeah, once again, Newstead, they've got a click and collect order. They've got awesome food combos as well. Um, so, and I know that Black Hops have got their supply drop. Uh, same day free delivery for Gold Coast and Brisbane areas. Uh, Corumban Valley uh, doing free delivery on the East Coast, I think. So it's Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland, I think, I think. Um, Ballistic are doing free delivery to local areas on orders over 70 bucks and Semi-Pro they're delivering. So many breweries are all delivering and, and doing as much as they can to get their beer to you. So, you know, we can only do our best to, to go and make it as easy for them to continue doing that. Um, Number three is support local bottle shops. Uh, look for the Independent uh, Brewers Association seal. There's a supporter seal, as we mentioned, uh, and make sure that you're, you're doing that. And, and that helps to stop the disbursement of money to you know going overseas even, even more. Uh, number four is buy a voucher. If you don't just need beer, if you don't need beer just yet, buy a voucher. Um, if you don't need it straight away, purchase now to inject some much needed cash directly into these breweries and organize to pick it up in a couple of weeks when you run out of beer. Uh, and number five is tell your mates about keeping local alive. It's important that we practice mateship during these times and share a message of support to all of those in our local communities. So that's it. It's as easy as that. Um, it's it, it's all up to us to make sure that these breweries are still here when all of this is said and done and over. And uh, and I'll tell you what, it's going to be a hell of a party when it is over. And I look forward to seeing a lot of people out there. And um, you know, I, I want hugs. I want hugs. I want to hug my friends. And I want to cheers and chink glasses with some of my mates. And, um, and, and I really can't wait till that happens and, and I really look forward to it. So look, until the next video guys, make sure that you enjoy some good beers. If you are stuck at home, um, try not to drink too much, all right? It's, I know it sounds, you know, hypocritical or whatever, but at the same time, you've got to make sure that you're looking after yourself as well. So look after the breweries, look after yourselves, stay safe everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, guys. Cheers.